Okay, so it's been a week since I started mining ErgoCoin. Today on That Techo Guy, I'm going to be showing you the profits I made in this week and the hash rates that I got while mining ErgoCoin, which uses the Autolocus version 2 algorithm. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so it's been almost a week, just a few more hours and it will be a week since I started mining Ergo. Now, I was mining Ergo on Hero Miners, so as you can see on the screen here, I am on the Ergo part of the Hero Miners pool site. And here I am now going to enter my address so that you can see what profitability I was making. Now I was mining on my 5 GPU mining rig and my average hash rate was averaging around 660 mega hash per second. If you want to check out my video on my 5 GPU mining rig, you can do so from the link above or in the description below. Now at this 660 mega hash per second hash rate on Autolycus version 2, and I did not touch my video card overclock settings from when I was mining ET hash, okay? So I didn't touch that. So if I were to step the memory clock down a bit and maybe increase the core slightly, maybe I would have gotten a little bit more hash rate, but I did not see people that were getting getting significant results more than I am getting. For example, here I managed to mine around 11.5 Ergo coins in the entire week. Today I've already mined another one, so that's really 12.57 Ergo coins in the course of one week. If I give this a few more hours just to say, listen, I did do a full week because the full week does end in around another six or seven hours. I might get another half an ergo, maybe, maybe slightly less. So I'm just going to call this a straight 13 ergo for one week. There were times as well that I had to stop my mining rig for an hour or two because I did need to do a bit of maintenance on the rig. So that is going to be a pretty accurate result. At the moment, I am still mining, as you can see here, Tekogai ERG, and the hash rate is there. This is how many shares I've submitted. I had a few invalid shares and a few stale shares as well. That could be due to the overclock settings that I could have slightly adjusted. I was using MB Miner, and this is still mining. I can show it to you right here. And this is my mining rig upstairs, the 5 GPU mining rig. You can see my hash rates here. On the 3060 Ti, I'm getting 164 mega hash. On the 3080, I'm getting a 229 mega hash. 1070s are getting around 59 mega hash. And the 3060 unnerfed is getting 121 mega hash giving me a total of approximately 632 mega hash. I'm gonna let that mine a few more hours as well today, and then I'll possibly move on to either back to Shiba or a different coin, or maybe I'll just continue mining Ergo. We'll just see how things develop over the next 24 hours. Going back to the Hero Miner site, if I click on data here, it's just going to show you the region I'm mining on. I was mining directly on the EU server because that's the closest server to me. I'm using MB Miner version 38.1 and my current effort is at 20%. Now, if we put this into context, it tells me that here weekly, it's going to be 13.2 ergo. Now, I am at 11.5. I've already earned one, which has to be added here. Now, that's going to be paid out quite soon. So it's 12.5. Plus, I need to add a few more hours, seven hours or so of mining, which will give me around that 13 ergo figure. So let's say here in a week, see, in fact, it just dropped now because it all depends on the difficulty levels as well and the hash rate and how the pool's performing at that time. So I'm just going to take this as an average of 13, which I should actually make. So if I go to coin market cap and just check the price quickly for Ergo, the price of Ergo at the moment at the time of this video is around 5 euros and 18 cents. So if we do 5 euros, I'll just change to 20 cents, okay, 520 times 13 Ergo coins will equal 61 euro and 60 cents before electricity. Now, an important thing to mention is that on Autolycus 2, which is the Ergo algorithm, I was seeing a drop of a full 100 watts compared to mining ET hash. So this is consuming less electricity than other algorithms I've mined before. So that is important to take into consideration as well. 
Now, if I am using 800 watts, because normally I use around 900 watts on ETH, so if I am using 800 watts at the moment, and I'm doing that 800 watts times 24 hours, then I am using 19.2 units. Now, my cost per unit here is around 0.13 cents, so I'm going to do that times the 19.2 units, and that would give me around two euros and 49 cents a day of electricity costs before I was getting closer to three euros a day electricity costs when mining on the ET hash algorithm. So if I just times this for the entire week of seven days, I'm going to be using 17 euros and let's call it 50 cents. So 17 euros, 50 cents from the 67.60. So 67.60 minus the 17 euro dot 50 cents and I'm going to get a net profit in a week mining ergo of 50. Let's say I were to mine Ethereum directly, and if I had mined Ethereum directly, obviously throughout the week, things are going to change, but I'm going to take this as at this snapshot in time as at today. So if I were mining Ethereum, let's check out directly mining Ethereum on Hero Miners as well, just to keep it with the same pool how much I would have made on average. Now I know that for ET hash, I make 272 mega hash. On Ergo, I'm making 630 mega hash. Obviously there's a difference because it's a different algorithm. So let's check out on Hero Miners here. If I were to mine on Ethereum, how much I would have made. So from pools here, I'm going to go down and I'm going to select Ethereum. And here on their site, they also have a hash rate calculator. I know that I get around 272 mega hash at the current difficulty. It's saying here that weekly I would make 112 US dollars. So if I just convert that 112 US dollars, so here I'm just going to select the euro. So it's 13 euros and 66 cents always before electricity. Now the electricity consumption is going to be slightly more more around the 283 euro mark. So let's bring up the calculator again. So before electricity, it's saying that I was going to make 95 euros weekly versus the 67 euros mining ergo. So yes, it was going to be more profitable mining Ethereum. Now, not everyone can mine Ethereum. Ergo, you can mine it with a card of four gigabytes VRAM just fine. Two gigabytes above is what is the minimum. So on a four gigabyte graphics card, you're going to be able to mine Ergo just fine. So for those of you who don't have a video card with more than six gigabytes of VRAM and you can't mine ET hash, you can have Ergo as an alternative, or you can go for something else on Unminable, for example, and mine on the Cowpow algorithm and mine different coins as well. But the comparison here is between Ergo and ETHash, and you can clearly see that on ETHash, at the current difficulty, obviously throughout the week, this is varying. As you can see, this number is changing constantly from 95 to 100. So it all depends on the pool's performance and how many people are mining the coin and the difficulty at the time. So that's going to vary, but the averages are, let's say, between 90 and 100. There is a substantial difference from the 67, let's say 70, as a whole number, 70 euros and the 90 euros before the electricity costs. Now, if I were to reduce around 20 euros from the 90 euros weekly mining Ethereum, that would give me a net profit of 70 euro, while for Ergo, I got a net profit of around 50 euro. So there's a 20 euro difference between the two coins on average. So guys, ETHash and Ethereum are still the most profitable, but this way I am also diversifying my portfolio. Like I've always said, if you believe in the coin, if you believe that it has potential, then go ahead and mine it because one day this Ergo coin, for example, could be worth much more and maybe Ethereum won't be. But you will still have some Ethereum, you will still have some Ergo. If you've mined Shiba coin, if you've mined Deutsche coin, if you've mined Raven coin, you're just going to diversify your portfolio, giving you more options and potential in the future to possibly earn more profit as well. So I don't want to drag this video out any longer. Thanks for taking the time in watching my videos and do check out other videos on my channel. This is not just a mining channel. I do have other videos on other topics as well. And in the future, I will have a variety of videos on technology subjects, obviously. 
but it won't be just purely on mining because it's not just a mining channel. But at the moment, mining is a big part of technology and it's shaping the future and changing the way technology works. So that explains why at the moment I'm currently focusing a lot on mining because I know a lot of you out there are really interested in this topic as well. I hope that you found this video useful. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the like and hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos come out on my channel. Until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.